Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Aries, and this is going to be for the week of the 1st through the 6th of May. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourselves. I will be using my Clarity Tarot deck. And to clarify, I'll be using the classic tarot. So Aries, let's see what messages we have for you. So Aries, this is for you. The Queen of Pentacles. This could be a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo within your environment. They're very sincere and practical. The Tower. I do see a Tower moment. This is some chaos and confusion. Um, not necessarily anything like horrible, you know. But it's saying to stop old habits and ways regarding love. And to change some of the ways you view, this is what the card says, the change attachments to wealth and status. But you're having some kind of towel moment. Now, it could be like, it could be an argument. It could be just like a slight chaos and confusion. It might be a little bit more. The Seven of Swords. Um, you might feel like... Um, betrayal or that you have you keep looking back at something you need to compromise whatever it is you need to compromise okay seek compromise you're gonna have a towel moment it's gonna cause a little shake up it could be just a little argument nothing huge but you're gonna seek compromise okay the card says seek compromise so this is the seven of swords now, where money is concerned, finances, it warns about moving forward. The risk is high. So where love is concerned, you need to seek compromise. And where the money is concerned, the risk is high. And that could be, you know, the, the tower, maybe, you know, they're all connected. <laughs> and the magician, you are the magician. You can accomplish anything you need to accomplish, okay? Really and truly. You just got to keep your eye on the prize. Clear your mind. Meditate. You could do this. You just need some patience. That's the temperance card, and this is the magician. I'm not sure if I showed you. <laughs> and the two of swords, you're going to have a decision to make, or... You're going to have to choose between two paths. But it's up to you what you choose. The decision might be a little, um, might be a little tough decision. But have faith, okay? Believe in yourself. Trust you. Then I see the Queen of Wands here. Now, this could be an uh, energy within your environment. Well, actually, this is you, Aries. You're the fire. <laughs> so, or this could be a Leo or um, a Sagittarius in your environment. So Aries, do what you love, okay? Do what you love where money's concerned and be very creative. And then the seven of pentacles, you've planted something and you're watching it grow. 
there's small steps where love is concerned of improvement, okay? So maybe you're learning how to compromise. Good. And where money is concerned, you're going to start seeing gains. And then the Six of Swords. You know, you'd be like, you know, why couldn't it all just be just nice and smooth? But it's life. You know, it's up and down. And it's how we handle these bumps in the road, okay? Now, the Six of Swords. Uh, where love is concerned, you all are moving to calmer waters. Because you're all going to have cooperation. And your money situation is working out. So let's see if this continues. It will. Now, the Queen of Wands and, and the, these Queen energies, they're not necessarily masculine or feminine, okay? Um, they... The queens are the thinkers. Like, I like to say the queen of pentacles. That's like the money manager. Um, but the queens are supposed to be the thinkers. The emotional ones. Um, whereas the men are the doers. So, when these cards come up, it could be that you're thinking of a situation. Or whatever is going on. And your, what your solution is going to be. You know? And when the king comes up, it could be that you're acting on what it was that you were thinking about. <laughs> so the queen of pentacles. On top of the queen of pentacles comes the hanged man. And, ooh, and the six of swords. There's some kind of pause in action, some kind of decision you might have to make. But like the Six of Swords here, I'm staying with that trend, okay? You're going to learn how to compromise. Um, you're going to be moving in. You're going to be cooperating with each other. There will be improvements. The relationship will be calmer. <laughs> That's how we're going to put it. And the towel moment. Let's see what's going on here. Uh, that one was, I guess, supposed to come out. Just got a severe, severe thunderstorm warning. So anyway, um, I got the Seven of Swords again on top of the towel. Mm, you feel betrayed. Deceived. You feel like somebody took something from you. And they were dishonest. Now, this energy could have been a water energy. Did you already invest money? And already lose? Now, it could have been a water energy. Or it could be that you're feeling pretty emotional about this betrayal. Because, I mean, this is on top of the tower. The Seven of Swords and the Queen of um, Cups on top of the towel. Hmm. Maybe there is betrayal. But you're seeking compromise. You see, the decks mean so... Sometimes they mean different things, you know? But maybe you were, you were betrayed. Maybe it could have been a water energy, a Pisces, a, a Scorpio or a Cancer um, energy person. And um, you feel like they're getting away with it and stuff. Or you feel like somebody betrayed you. Not sure. And the Queen of Cups could also signify that you're feeling quite emotional, okay? So then we got the Seven of Swords over here. So let's see what's going on over here. You're going to seek compromise and things will smooth out. I got the Four of Wands and the Knight of Wands. And y'all might make up doing some frisky things. But anyway, I got, um, there will be celebration, joy, and harmony within um, marriage, there might be engagements. 
but it's going to be happiness. Could be reunions as well for some of you. And this is the Knight of Wands, and that's why I say you know, y'all might make up that way. Um, it's passionate energy, you know, some passionate energy coming towards you. Okay. Could also be telling you, all right? I was just being a little naughty. So it also could be telling you that um, remember, the Seven of Swords here warns about moving towards uh, where money is concerned. It's a high risk. So this energy that might come in might come in pretty passionate and a lot of energy and stuff, you know? Trying to get you, to inspire you into action. Follow your intuition. Do what you think is right. Because anything can change. Right? So on top of the magician, you got the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. That's a new beginning somewhere. You you, you have the urge to create something. You want to create something. I don't know. It could be business-wise. The Aries is pretty stable. So it could be business. I mean, you love power, you know. Just use it wisely. And be kind. And the Ace of Pentacles, abundance, a new opportunity, maybe a new job. Or a promotion. Or like I said, a new business venture. <laughs> So just be careful with this high energy here where money's concerned because you got your own luck going on. But like I said, and I will always say we have free will, okay? So it's totally up to you, whatever you choose. Just trust yourself that you're not going to lead yourself wrong. So temperance. Whoops. Just need some patience. suddenly got darker. Yep, the clothes got dark. So, temperance. There's going to be a celebration, so be patient. Whatever y'all were fussing about, or whatever towel moment you had, if it disrupted your, your life, your, your romantic life, um, or your marriage made you argue or whatever your relationship. Um, they're going to be healing, okay? Just be patient. Just be patient. There's going to be a celebration. I got the three of cups and then I got the moon. So you're going to start seeing things clearer, okay? Your vision isn't going to be clouded anymore. You're going to start seeing things clearer. And the two of swords, the two of swords. You need to have faith in your own ideas, okay? The decision you have to make, you've been working on this thing for a while. I got my reading glasses on now. That's why my eyes look so big. But I can see good now. <laughs> So anyway, um, I got the Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups above the Two of Swords. You've been working on something very passionately. You also have a new beginning. See, the Aces mean like a new beginning in something. <clears throat> some new kind of feelings maybe spirituality maybe your intuition maybe you're becoming more intuitive maybe it's a new baby maybe you plan to propose to somebody 
I don't know. But this is the Eight of Pentacles. And the Ace of Cups. So there's some decision you got to make. Something you, some decision. I don't, you, if it resonates with you, you will know what it is. And the Queen of Wands. This is a fire energy. Aries. I got the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, the Ten of Pentacles, and I got the Six of the Six of Cups. <clears throat> so the Ten of Pentacles is like um, it could be that you're coming into some money, acquiring property or finances, money unexpectedly. Um, there's some you're gonna have stability. You'll be able to take care of your family. There's domestic love. You know, maybe you're going to purchase a home and, or a new home or another home. And I do see that you have memories from the past, though. Happy memories from the past. That's the Six of Cups. And then the Seven of Pentacles. The magician, whatever seeds you planted, you're going to start seeing the rewards. The magician and the nine of wands. The nine of wands just says you are resilient. Can you hear that rain? You are resilient. And every time they knock you down, you keep getting back up. And you are magical at this moment, okay? Whatever seeds you planted financially... It's going to take you to calmer waters. The Six of Swords. It's going to make you feel calmer. Mm -mm -mm. You're going to have some conflict, of course. That's the Five of... Um, the Five of Swords. And the Death card. So I would say... There's a change coming. The Death card doesn't mean anything negative. It just means the end of a cycle and the beginning of a new cycle, okay? Shedding the old for the new. It could be the way you think. I don't even have to close my blinds up. It could be the way you think. It could be things you're doing. But something could be improvements, you know? It's not, necess it's not necessarily negative. I always look at it as something positive because you're moving forward. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves and I will chat with you soon. Mwah. Bye.